Hey everybody, Zach Fernandez, Night 2 here, back with another Movie Memories Monday. By the thumbnail and title, you know what it's going to be for. It's for my all-time favorite film, The Passion of the Christ. And this movie came out 14 years ago this year. Well, it will be by later this year. But this is our original copy that we had um, when it first came out. Um, it's been, We've taken pretty good care of it, to be honest. Um, I mean, you can see the obvious, like, where, it's like, the you can see the shell of the, well, not the shell, like, the imprint of the disc but this movie was is so fantastic if you haven't seen it it's only five dollars it is rated r but it's only rated r because of the you know the let's see for sequences of graphic violence it's because it's the telling of how jesus was sacrificed sacrificed on the cross for our sins something that he didn't have to do but he did for us because he loves us so much uh, this movie is so fantastic. I think we actually still have the, yeah, we still have the old advertisement flaps on the inside. But this movie is so great. And on a disc art, it actually has um, Jesus um, bending down, drawing a line, in the uh, drawing something in the sand. But, yeah, this movie was so fantastic. I, mean, I don't really have to tell much about this movie other than, well, I mean, story-wise, other than what's already been told in the Bible itself, which was pretty much this is like the last, what I think it said, like a certain amount of hours. Yeah. From Academy Award winning director Mel Gibson comes a profound story of courage and sacrifice de depicting the final 12 hours in the life of Jesus Christ. Boy, this movie is so good though. When I first seen this, um, I actually cried so hard. I think I was only 12 when it came out. Um, I was only allowed to watch it because it was about Jesus, and growing up, we were um, unable to watch any R-rated movies, and I could understand why, honestly. I mean, I think I've maybe seen two, two movies um, that are rated R. Um, this one, for the obvious reason, is that it's, it's for Jesus, and this other one that I, I think my family rented and I watched it with them, uh, it was called The Help. Um, it was a really good film, but it has a way too much language. That was pretty much the only thing I didn't like in that movie was just the language. Other than that, a fantastic movie. But The Passion of the Christ is... Um, and when I first seen it, yeah, I think I, I, I think I hid behind like the couch because I didn't want anyone to see me cry, but I was crying so hard. Absolutely, I was devastated to see how horrible Jesus was beaten and mocked and hated on. Um, it, it, it was such, it, even when I watch it today, it still makes me cry. I absolutely love this film and I'm so close to Jesus. I love Jesus with all of my heart. I've known him since I was three. I accepted him into my life when I was old enough. From, I think it was maybe like a, in, me, in my early teen years when I got baptized. Uh, but man, this movie was so good. And, um, oh yeah, now I remember. This movie is also um, in Hebrew, so you don't actually get to um, have any English words in it other than the little text that pop up on the bottom. I mean, they did make eventually a um, one that was, I think they actually re-releasing re it again this year for Easter. Um, this movie with the English words, the actual English, wor English words rather than the Hebrew one. But I'd su suggest getting this version of it just because it's more close to what the actual Bible says. But this movie, it's just, I just can't get over it. I've seen many versions of this kind of movie where it shows, you know, the life and death of Jesus and the resurrection. Um, I think I even have um, uh, the Bible series I got unboxed on my channel a couple years ago. On my, and I haven't actually watched much of this um, after I got it. I think I've watched it before I even got this on TV. Um, but I need to rewatch this someday from the start to finish. But that's just like a mini series, but it's, even though it's very close to what the Bible says, this one is far more close to the Bible than any of the other Jesus films out there. Even the movie called Jesus, which I believe came out sometime in the 80s or 90s. Um, it's on VHS, on VHS, and there's like a ton of them out there. It's a great film, but this one just does a much better job. Um, I'm trying to think. Just 
when I watch this movie, I just think, why did he, why would he, why is it that, that he had to do that for us? Why, I know he loves us, and I know that he would do anything for us, but from how, how, now I'm not going to sugarcoat it, everyone sins, everyone, everyone is sinful except for Jesus. He was the only person who was sinless, and that's why he was, um, chosen by God to, um, you know, be sacrificed. Uh, he was God's son. Like even John 3.16, it says, For God so loved the world, that he gave his one and only Son, and that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. That's the NIV version. There's also a King James version of that same verse. Or what you say, you should say the whole Bible. Uh, but um, Jesus came. Like, the verse even after John 3.16, verses 17, I think it might be both 17 and 18, but I think it was just 17, says, um, For God did not send his Son to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Jesus loves us so much that he sacrificed himself. Um, and I personally think, I feel like, I j there's no greater love than, than God's. N no one can ever match how much God loves you. I mean, your family and friends will care for you and will love you and with all their hearts, um, but... Jesus can is the only is always always going to be there for you. Um, it, when times are hard, when times are really easy, um, through sad, through happiness, it's he's going to be through it all for you. He's just waiting for you to come to him, to accept him, and to for you to love him. Now, being a Christian doesn't mean that you're going to have an easy life. Um, the, the Bible even says that. But to me. I can't imagine my life without him at all. And I honestly feel, I would feel like incredibly empty if I didn't know Jesus. Um, but I'm definitely grateful for him being in my life and I hope you um, guys love him too. And I hope that you'll accept him someday. But, but this movie is just so great. And it's getting closer and closer to Easter and I'm hoping you would watch it, well, I would like to for you guys to watch it like as soon as possible, but for Easter, it's perfect, because um, that's um, the day when Jesus sacrificed himself and was resurrected, and definitely a perfect time to watch it, too. So if you don't have it, either wait for the one that comes out in English if you don't care for subtitles, or just grab it for $5 in the, in the, in the store, in this version. Regardless, you're going to get the same movie, just one with the original Hebrew with the English text, and one with English words altogether. But tell me in the comments below what you guys and girls think of this video and what you think of this absolutely fantastic movie. Now, please, no, no cussing, okay, for one thing, on my comments. I, I just, just want to show how much I love this movie and how much I love Jesus. That's pretty much the reason why I chose this movie this time for movie memory, Movies Memory Monday. It's because it's my all-time favorite film, and I'm kind of surprised I haven't done this one yet. But, definitely worth trying. So hope you guys um, have a great time, and God bless. Oh, I almost dropped the camera.